right. There we go. We are coming in. We'll give people another minute or so. All right, um, we can at least do the, the simple stuff. Note well, it's Thursday. Hopefully, for this crowd, everybody's seen it before. Um, please, please do note well. This is our agenda, very simple. Um, we'll be talking about our, uh, our, our draft. There are a number of items that we know we want to talk about. Uh, there are a few items that we think we want to talk about. And depending on how our, our time goes, um, we may be able to open the floor for things people are really want to talk about. But um, we'll, we'll be OK. Yes, it's Friday for some of you. I, I, I very much appreciate the fact that it is Friday for some of you. All right. Um, as you know, Model OO, I, ITF, IAB, RFC, Model OO has been posted. Um, there has been a lot of list traffic. Um, thank you all very much for participating. We've made a lot of progress um, on, on this. Um, these are the issues that we, uh, we thought that we would start with, um, seeing how far we can get on them. Uh, and. Um, so let's let's go in. Um, we uh, have been discussing on the list the roles that were uh, my yeah right. Um, uh, we want to we want to deal with the, the 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 roles for the RSC that need to be reallocated, right? And we've talked about some of them. Uh, the website, for example, has been discussed. Um, these are issues sixty two and sixty one. Um, and uh, there was there's a suggestion that um, we're okay on issue 60 as long as we're have have text that uh, looks a lot like what we have for issue 59. So the floor is open for anyone that wants to discuss any any of the open issues, um, any any of the the 62 and 61 things, or anything else related to the roles played by the RSC. I'm not hearing anybody willing to talk. <laughs> um, It'd be helpful if we just bring up the issue text for each of these so that people can see. Yeah, you want to you want to do that? I sure. Take me a little longer to start get with. Oh, I didn't have it open up. Let's start with. Yeah, I, we definitely have time, Martin. We have time for one on one. Let's start with sixty two. Just give me a moment to figure out the sharing. I should have brought the GitHub up before I started, and I could have done this correct. But. Just a moment. Uh, okay. So let me stop slide share. There we go. Okay. I've got it. Uh, here. 
60. Okay, so this is the uh, uh, who, who, who escalates and how that all that works. Um, are we okay with the RSAB uh, owning escalations from the R RPC and authors? Yeah, I think this one already has consensus actually, and somehow the labels got lost. But um, people can open up a new issue on this. Yeah, I I I don't remember any further open issues on it. Um, I think we were we, we were okay with RSAB. Uh, handling a dispute, right? I mean, it's going to go first to the stream, um, and the stream manager by themselves. It's just that that if that doesn't work, where you go? Where do you go? And there's text for this and that. So my proposal is just to close this because I'm sure that this is already yeah. addressed. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, so sorry that we spent some time on things that were open. Um, next one was 61. Or 60, yeah. Uh, 60 is open. 60 is closed. It's 61 and 62 that were open. I've said street mm -hmm. street small. 61. You can read that. So, so here we have, I think, some proposal. That there's something related, some text related that Jay put out about doing uh, the annual report, and I think that addresses 61. Jay, is that, was that your intent? Please go ahead. Um, so um, we, it, it, we're not explicitly stating that it is, um, uh, that there's been a shift from the RSE doing it to the RPT doing it, but in the text I've done, the RPT is now responsible for um, implicitly for gathering the requirements in order to develop its work plan. So do you believe that we need any more text? Is the text okay at this point? Um, the the text, um, Peter has, well, for Martin Durst had some um, uh, major issues with it, which I've replied to and haven't seen anything um, back from that. And um, uh, Peter and Andre had some questions about it um, with um, uh, one about the level of detail about the timing of um, how those things are the work plan is developed which um, I think is a excessive level of detail to go into and the second one more importantly about um, uh, the um, feedback from the work plan and how that's incorporated or not incorporated which is a um, uh, quite a good point and one that I'd um, sort of um, uh, danced around a little bit in the text and so that needs a little bit more more work on that uh, and we, so sorry just we, we're using the words work program just as the specific text we're putting in at the moment for this <coughs> okay so Martin Durst, anyone else want to talk about this issue? There, there has, there's text that's been proposed. There have been some discussion and small amounts of, of, of word changes on some of it. Um, is, are, are we to the point where we think Peter can craft the final text based on the, on the email discussion? Go ahead, Peter. Peter. Uh, if you're talking, Peter, we can't hear you. Double muted. Sorry about that. There you go. Yes, the question I had for Jay was the the question about the feedback process was about how are we going to set expectations regarding with the community regarding how that feedback process was going to go on the work program that. The RPC would put forward as a proposal, and then how would that get finalized? So I don't, as with my document editor hat on, I'm not quite sure how to craft that yet. But I thought it would be worthy to discuss. Mira. 
Yeah, um, so I'm, I'm not quite sure if I understand the term work program here entirely. And if we really need it, I, I guess there's a different thing where we where the LSC um, evaluates the performance, right? So that would not be based on the work program. The work program is probably only something that is an indication to the community what's done, but that should be quite straightforward from my point of view based on what the group is defining and doing. Or maybe my understanding is wrong here. Brian? Brian. Can't hear you yet. So, yeah. Um, no, I'm on the question uh, that Peter's second question about taking feedback under advisement. Uh, I think the key thing there is if a community member feels they're being ignored, would they raise concerns with the LLC? I think that's exactly what we've already documented under some other issue, that if a community member has problems with performance of the RPC, they'll raise it, they'll raise it with the LLC. So I, th I think that's, uh, that's really already covered. It's just, it's just a complaint about performance. Jerry. Jay? <laughs> the well, Miria's question about the work plan. So um, the RPC will not be getting its sole work from the RSWG um, and then the RSAB, okay? That's where bigger things will come certainly, but it gets um, some work come from um, uh, the stream managers, for example, the, um, the recent terminology discussions and work has um, uh, you know, been a stream manager thing or, or changes to the way that erratas are handled at a, at a basic level of um, the, the IESG has some changes about the way that the IESG wants to handle errata. Um, and um, it also gets it from authors who say, you know, could you please do this differently or how about you do this? It gets it from a whole variety of sources. Um, and that all needs to be put together and um, delivered. And for me, the point about a work program is that that is then transparent. So everybody gets to see that. Everybody gets to understand the full level of work so that you then don't have people asking the same thing over and over again and you, you understand when things are going to get done. And you can see the relative priorities of those things. It's just a, it's a basic management mechanism. So that's what the work program is about. Um, and um, that's why it's something more than just the, the work that comes from the group. And, and secondly, because the work program is something that we are going to, if we define a work program as existing within the, the, the document that Peter's writing, then it will become part of the performance targets because by definition, the performance targets are you must deliver what's in the RFCs. And so um, the performance targets will include, you know, annually or whatever it is, producing a work plan, commenting on it and other things. So that will be linked in that way. Um, if I may, I just want to capture um, the, the comment that Lucy made because I think we did discuss this on list and Jay, I think it's pretty relevant. So, so stick around for a second. Um, what Lucy wrote in the chat was there needs to be a buck stopper for this activity. The group as a whole won't be a good channel for the RPC. So the, the question is what, uh, and I think we covered this a little bit, what is the flow of information that, that you envision uh, for, for feedback in, in this process? And I don't know if we covered this yet in the draft, Peter. Not yet. Okay, Jay, do you wanna go ahead uh, just on this point? So, so what, what my text proposes is that the RPC annually produce a work plan, draft work plan and consult with the community on that, with the broader community on it. And that is the mechanism for feedback to come through on that. Um, uh, and we can have that more often than annually if required. Um, and so, so, and the, the, the buck stop it, well, ultimately the RPC needs to listen to that and deliver it. And the LLC is the enforcer to ensure that they have done that if people are, um, you know, or the escalation path for people are concerned that they haven't done that, um, which I suspect is going to be a never used role, but that's, you know, it's there in case we need it. 
Lucy, does that does that answer your your question? You think that we're covered there? Go ahead. I don't know. First, it's Mira. Sorry. Yeah, I wanted to reply to Jay again. Thank you. Thank you for explaining that. That makes it clear to me. But I'm I'm not sure if we need this level of detail in the draft. I think what we agreed previously is that we need a way for the RPC to report back. Um, and, you know, having a work plan is also a little bit explaining what you plan to do rather than just reporting what, what you did. That's fine. Um, but I think the, the part that we need to cover in the draft is that they need a certain level of um, communication and transparency. And I don't think we need to talk about a work plan there or even like the recurrence of the work plan, how often that's done or how that's reviewed or whatever. That seems to be more detailed than, than need to be specified here. Okay. Now, Lucy, thank you. The process that Jay is describing would work well for simple issues, like like a, a request for a change in uh, how errata are handled from the IESG. I think if you take the label labeling discussion from yesterday and think about how that affects all of the streams and the need to coordinate that across tools, across publishing specifications, across LLC budgets, across tasks for the RPC. It gets a lot more complicated and, and that there, are, as Mira says, there are feedback loops involved there that I don't think this process handles well. I think you end up fractured. Think of it as a point of contact. That coordinates. Can I come to those? Um, thanks. So um, the in the text that I've proposed, um, one of the things that the RPC is expected to do, through with advice from the RSAB, is decide on any requirement given to it whether it can say. Um, actually, no, that's too big a requirement for us. That has to go back to the community process, i.e. the RSWG, and through that process um, to do that. And that is the point at which the things that you've described, Lucy, I think should be resolved. And if, if they can't be resolved, then that's because we that's a, an issue with the RSWG process we need to deal with, not an issue with the RPC, which I think, you know, is the implementer not the place at which those things are resolved. Um, and then uh, separately to, to Miria. That's, that's something that's right. not currently in the draft. Uh, it's not currently in the draft. No, it's in my proposed text is that, though, which is. Um, uh, uh, the, the process after a return is not in the draft. Right, so you mean the feedback process after the work program? Correct. That's not in the draft. Yes, that that there's there's limited information about that certainly, but that but this isn't that's not the the what I'm tackling. It, the, what I'm saying is that the the bigger problems that. Sorry, go ahead, Lucy. Uh, understood. I'm just flagging the fact that if you resolve on this small issue. There's a bigger issue here that still isn't addressed in the draft, which is this well, process of feedback and iteration. So, and who's responsible for driving that? Well, uh, that, that's that's what I think is addressed in the draft by if the, the RPC says, no, we can't implement that, that's too big, then that becomes the, the whoever is proposing that has to go through the RSWG process and the anything that goes through the RSWG process that comes out of that the RPC simply has to implement there's no the, R, the RPC is not in a position to say no to that so that that's the mechanism that your text works for the RPC piece of the issue it's the bigger rinse lather repeat coordination of the workflow and specifying new work and coordinating it across streams and funding that is not clear uh, okay i'm i'm struggling to understand that um 
because that 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 becomes a, an R. Uh, sorry, are you saying that an output of the RSWG could still have this problem of how to coordinate it across multiple things? Lucy, you're going to respond, or is that something? I think that's correct. I, I, I am concerned that we're going to get into an iterative process here that echoes forever and gets hung up on things like funding requirements or amount of time available from the tools team or whatever. You're going to have competing requirements and not a clear mechanism for resolution. So, so you're worried about the RSWG coming up with some huge project that not beating the budget, RPC says can't do it without a budget change, LLC says can't have a budget change, now what? Is that what you're talking about? That's exactly correct. I, I, I unfunded mandate and uh, right. buy in from the community on a set of work done in the work program that then doesn't have a path for execution. Somewhere there has to be a driver for this. So I'm just saying. Um, and, I, and I'll take my hand down now. OK. Jay, you want to respond? Nice. Yeah, just Michael very briefly. Wait, so, so we're going to give him a chance. Yeah, yeah sorry, Mike. Um, so if, if the RSGWG put something forward, which the RPC says within our current resources, we can't deliver that, that then becomes an LLC problem. Um, the, because the LLC is obliged to implement the things that the RSWG puts forward in the same way we're obliged to implement anything that, uh, you know, any, any other RFC that is produced, we're obliged to implement that, that instructs us in that way. Um, the only backstop being that we can't be bankrupt and that's, you know, an extreme hypothetical. So we, we can specifically state that in the text. I'm more than happy to have that in there that, you know, that the LLC is obliged to ensure that the RPC is sufficiently funded in order to implement any um, uh, RSWG um, outputs within a reasonable period of time. Mike, you've been waiting a long time. Go ahead. Um, the, the deal is that we keep forgetting there are lots of different cycles in this process. I mentioned it in the, tech, in the chat room, but doing the RFCs only starts the process of getting it implemented. You then there may be either a contract change or a task order change to actually get the RPC to do something. And so with respect to, with respect to this, um, I would expect the LLC to push back at, as, part of, as, as part of the liaison thing to the issuance of the original RFC if it's not going to be fundable or to explain when it can be funded based on, on what it knows. And I would expect that um, the LLC would be upfront about, yeah, you're telling us to do this, but it makes no sense and it's not cost effective. Um, so it will get added to the contract at some point, but it's going to cost us an opportunity for everything else that you want to do. So um, maybe Maybe what we need for the RFCs coming through this is an LLC um, consideration section that basically says, "Here's what it's going to cost, and here's how, it ha and here's when we can implement it." Lucy, would that sort of work for s dealing with some of this? She said that y there's. Not sure the work program can bind the LLC, and Jay is saying, "Yeah, uh, okay, Lucy, go ahead." So, so, so yes, it, it it would work if there's a, a a clear flow that says when the LS L when in the process the LLC responds to those considerations. If this working group takes a lot of time to build community consensus around something and forwards a proposal, and it dies. You have a different problem then. Uh, so, so there is a, a, a checks and balances. I liked Marge's 
de definition of this as, as feedback loops that you have to iterate through to get to the point where new substantive work is both agreed upon and funded and delivered. Uh, just if I may, problem. yeah, I, I just if I may um, uh, make one clarification, jump in the queue for a moment. I think there, there are two different processes that we're talking about. Um, the first process is um, the RFC process, and Mike was talking about having an LLC consideration section. The second process is um, the, uh, the work program. And I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm not. I'm not quite sure if we've covered that uh, that that cycle. So, my my suggestion would be that we separate out th these issues. That Jay, uh, as you review your text that you propose, um, uh, I, one of the things I've added into the the the, the issue here is that uh, is a suggestion from Miria which I think is a good one, and it's a little bit of work for Peter, though, which is a process diagram. If there's going to be discussion about a work program, I think what we're seeing clearly is that um, there, are, there may well be priorities, and the question is, how are those priorities set? And I don't think this group has really quite uh, hit that issue square on. Do, do people think we're converging on, on, on solutions? I, I, we don't need to wordsmith the exact text, but it seems like we're heading in a direction that we can have some proposed text and see whether we agree with it. Is that, do, is, is, is there, do we, do we think we're getting there? I mean, I, I, I think Jay is getting, that text is getting there and we need to add it and we've got some suggestions like the implementation uh, plan uh, notion or you know LLC considerations gives they 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 will observe right I mean they're not going to be surprised by any of this stuff um, and as Jay points out that this cycle of funding and the you know feasibility and its effect on other groups and money is hits us all over the place in other places you know data tracker work um, reorganization of how you know, pieces work. I mean, we, we, we encounter this specific problem often and we manage to get through it because people are, are uh, aware of what's going on and we, you know, they, we get feedback. So I, I think it's all right. I, I just don't want to spend too much time trying to get exactly everything done right now. I, I, I rather, it seems like we're on the right direction. Let's, let's, let Jay do some more editing. Peter put it in. We'll all take a look at it and see if we're okay. Is that is that reasonable? Martin. Finally, can't hear you yet. There we go. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. This thing's too slow. I think this is entirely reasonable. I I think that. The text that Jay has produced is is a good start toward this. I think Mike's suggestion that we deliberately include some sort of rules in here that say that the LLC's feedback on how things are prioritised is uh, an explicit part of the the um, documents that are produced. Now that may be in the, in a lot of cases uh, trivial. Uh, but for the big things that, that Lucy is concerned about, yes, I think it's going to be a, a critical part of the decision making process that the working group follows. And, and it can't just be, oh, you need another check in the, in the process. No, I think it's, it's going to have to be that if someone's going to ask for everything to be um, much, much more expensive, then, then all of those things and the resources need to be worked out as, as part of the discussion and, and not just a, as an afterthought. All right, I think 
we're, does anyone have any other thoughts that we haven't surfaced on this uh, item, on this, on this issue? Um, and Mary, I, I, I take your point that we're, the the this 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 thing is somewhat bigger than this specific issue, but I think the solutions we're coming about coming up with seem to address the larger issue rather than the specific one here. Peter? Okay, yeah, that yeah, I that think that sounds I good. I think I have what I need to craft some text. Um, I think it's not just the expense, but it could be skill sets. It could be, uh, yes. you know, things that are that need to be factors that need to be taken into account from an implementation standpoint, as Martin puts it. Um, so I think I have what I need to try to draft some and improve, you know, add to what Jay has done, which I think is a good start. Great. All right, I'm proposing to to move on to the next item. Any objections? Uh, all right. Um, Elliot, if you'd bring up uh, 62. Um, and I think again, Jay had proposed some text here. If I'm right, if I'm remembering correct. Um, any Anybody want to talk about this? I'll intro it briefly then. Um, so this is the um, the work program, and this is the annual publication on the on the work program, which I, um, in response to Mary's point earlier about why it's necessary, it's because I think this is an important transparency step um, that we should um, maintain, and um, the feedback step is an important part within it. Noting, of course, that more work is needed in the text about the feedback step, in particular, as Peter said, about setting expectations of what can be achieved during that feedback step. Miria? Yeah, so my concern is not about implementing this process as proposed, which is like, I don't think we need to put all details into the RFC. The important part is that is to have transparency and feedback, and that's what we should write in the RFC. If you want to implement it with a work plan that then goes out once a year or whatever and, and gets community feedback and so on, that's a good thing. But if you want to change that in future, then you don't have to change the RFC, so don't put all the details in the RFC. Got it, yes. Any any other discussion on this this item? Martin. Comment there. I I think that Jay's right here. I tend to agree more with Ethan Miria on this particular issue. I think it's important enough here that um, having it in the RFC, even at a very high level, which is all Jay has really done is sufficient uh, and maybe we do some make some small concession and make um remove say the the reporting periods and, and don't specify that and just say that they will regularly produce reports and produce a work program and that will allow that to be adjusted so that it might be every two years instead of one year and that sort of thing but um in general i think this is important enough to have written down Okay, this one seems easy. Any any other comments or issues with with this this issue, John? Sorry, like to open my mouth right now, but I guess I'm going to do it. Um, it seems to me that we are going rapidly down a path of turning these functions into LIC functions rather than functions which are managed in an independent way. That may be a perfectly good idea. It may be a realistic idea. But if that's where we're going and that's where this, the critical path decisions are going to be made, then we are spending an awful lot of time worrying about details which may not make any difference. Um, and for the record, if there's any expectation that somebody with even mild vision problems, even on very large screens, and media goes spread across both screens, 
can read what's going on in the slide area right now, I have news for you. That's all, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I think that helps me on with what what we, what would you change it to like if if that was if if you thought that that was a, a such a big issue right it's a big change to how we would n normally approach a problem like that what's the alternative i i, I don't know and that's why I <laughs> Well, it's it, it, it's why I posted that rant weeks ago. Yes. Um, I, yes. Uh, I, I, I I don't know. Uh, I uh, I think we made this path maybe inexorable. But if it is inexorable and we don't have alternatives, then the sooner we recognize that and change the process of how we're trying to do this to recognize that, the less time we waste on it. Right, but. I mean, we make mistakes. I mean, all of us make mistakes, and we collectively, the ITF, make mistakes all the time. Th this RFC may contain a number of glaring errors that, when we actually implement it, uh, show up very quickly. And we have processes to fix it. And we have, in this particular case, a working group. Um, and they can go and obsolete whatever RFC comes out of this and fix it. Um, so yes, I see your point about it being different process than we have typically used for these kinds of things. I see most people wanting to do it anyways. And I seems to me that if it doesn't work, we'll, we'll st take a step back and do something different there, and don't have to do anything special to there, make that there, happen. There, there, there may be no choice. What's right. special about this is that we are delegating responsibility to three different groups, none of whom are guaranteed to have any expertise in this area, the working group especially, and, uh, and that makes me very nervous because if we're gonna have a publication process which is run by people who don't know what they're doing, then if problems develop, uh, it is not clear that we have a way to remedy that in the same fashion which we have ways to remedy a, the idea puts out a piece of protocol work and it doesn't work and we understand as an engineering group why it doesn't work when we go off and do something about that. But again, uh, ignore me and go back to what you were doing. Okay. Um, any, anyone else? All right. So I think, again, we have a, a path forward. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, this is Elliot. Uh, can you guys hear me a little better? Is that background noise Yes, on? it's much yeah. better. OK, yeah, um, I, my, my AirPods didn't um, take over the microphone when, when I thought they did. So that's why that was. Um, the uh, resolution I think we have on this one, if I understand correctly, is text needed, which is the same text that um, is the, <laughs> the same textual update uh, for issue 61. They're, they're covered by the, the same text, if I understand correctly. Uh, Jay and Peter, is that your understanding as well, just to be clear? Yeah, I, I think they sort of are bundled together there. And if I have questions, um, I, can, I might ping Jay on or off list to craft some things with him and then um, you know, propose that on list and get that in the draft. OK, great. Where are we going next there, Brian? Um, all right, so the next uh, item, that, that has the, that's the first line on our, our issues to discuss. Our next one is interaction between RSWG and RSAB policies and RPC LLC projects. So these are issues 57 and, what did I do? 57 and 56. So let's look at 56 first. So this is <coughs> RPC consensus. Right, so if I can intro this again. Um, this is addressed 
by the text about um, the uh, work program. Um, so which, which one are we on? Are we on the process of work? All oh, right, sorry. So there's already a, um, uh, uh, well, the, the text says that the RPC has to make a decision about whether or not um, uh, it can implement something without consensus or whether something needs to go to consensus. Um, I can't see no other way other than having the RPC make that determination unless you want to specifically create that as a role for the RSAB. It was a role previously for the RSE, but um, it can't be a role for the RSEA in this um, uh, situation, in this setup. Um, hey, uh, Jay, I, I hate to interrupt yeah. you, um, but this we, we as it, I think this issue we've resolved in that there's text and then it's closed. Yeah. Um, right. Like, so I, if, if Unless Brian, you see yep. it differently, or Peter, you see it differently. I'd, I'd suggest we move on. Well, let's ask. Let's open it up. I, oh no, I it's been reopened. I'm sorry, it's been reopened. But yeah, um, but I think the text here, what we said, right, was I, at the end of the day, this this had to do with if there was ambiguity with um, the uh, with with policy in terms of the freedom of the RPC to act that the RPC would bring the matter to the RSAB who will interpret that policy. And Jay, did you cover that in your new text? I, I didn't think you did, but no, I, didn't. I think we have, yeah. I think this is the text that we agreed to as a group. Are there any, yeah. maybe the question is, are there any concerns with this text? Well, we'll to be clear, I think this is text that's currently in the draft in the latest version. Yeah. Of it, yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna mark this as consensus because I think we've we've covered this ground, and then I'll close it in a in a couple of weeks if nobody objects. Let's do that and move on to fifty seven. Okay. So, and this gets right back to what we were just discussing about the work program. Yep, that's right. So this is how it said it has to be the. RPC that does that and so this is the, the point about the work program is that is the mechanism whereby which the priorities are documented and shared and available for feedback and um, the resource implications of them are then negotiated with the with the LLC. Right. Any anybody disagree with that, Mike? Clarify. So we the only way this gets done though is by RFC from the RSWG, correct? It has to be documented, not just oh, it came up in a meeting and we want you to do this. Um, if I'm I'm going to try and interpret Jay's. Um, answer here. Let me see if I get you right, Jay, so that I, if, if I'm understanding the response here, right? The response to that is the work program is published annually the, as part of this. If the, 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 the uh, community then provides feedback on that work program, and then there's this step in which that, that is the, the comments from the community are resolved. And the question is, who owns that, that resolution step? Is there any recourse through the through the RSWG or RSAB? And um, I think the answer to that was no. But Jay, now you'll tell me I'm wrong, or or it's undecided. Step is that the um, RPC is required to tell the RSAB and the community if it goes against the advice it's received, and then uh, if any escalation has to be to the LLC. I, I, that has to be the way it goes. There, there, that, that has to be it. There isn't any other way to do that. Martin? That if the feedback from the community is provided to the RPC as, say, an email, um, what does that engage any, um, any, uh, any rules in here that that would require that the RPC document that they're adhering to or rejecting that particular feedback. 
Michael seemed to be asking for, well, only, it, this only really applies if there's something written down in an RFC from the from the working group. I think that's reasonable. Uh, and at the point that um, the working group does have a, have, have a consensus resolution that is documented, that should be answered directly. But when it comes to feedback, I think the expectation would be that the RPC simply takes that feedback on in the usual fashion. It reads the email, maybe responds to the email in a professional manner, and that is the end of it. And if people have problems with that, they can go to the LLC. I don't know that we need to document any of that, though. Mike? I agree with what Martin's saying. I, I'm still missing the, the answer to the question. Does, does the only way stuff gets onto the work program through the LLC to the RPC is by, by RFC through this, this process? OK, and why not? If it is, I mean, who, well, who, sets the things that, who sets the things that are not covered by the documents that RSWG is writing? Jay, go ahead. You um, you already limited. You already listed several items that fit that category. Yeah. Um, so, for example, if um, one of the stream managers wants errata handled differently for that stream, then that requires the RPC to change their tooling around that kind of thing. Um, if um, uh, uh, if an author comes up with a, a a good suggestion about something that would improve the RPC processes and do something differently, um, if there's a requirement for an experiment, such as um, ex the um, Auth48 in GitHub experiment, then there are a variety of things there that are that don't need to go through a consensus process are smaller than a consensus process. That's why. But they get on the work plan. That's your point. Yes, they get, exactly. They get on the work plan. Yeah. Mira? Proof, uh, right. Every time I try to use my audio. Um, now I'm actually a bit more worried because, um, you know, that are kind of operational things. And when you put it in the work plan and then send out the work plan for community review and ask input, then you will get a lot of input on all of these like nitty, nitty gritty small things which I think is completely unnecessary. I mean, I think we want transparency, we want to know what the RPC is doing, and we want somebody to advise the RPC um, who, who has uh, some kind of idea about what the community wants. But I don't, wouldn't want to discuss all these small things with the community in detail. Are, 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 Maria, are you suggesting that there ought to be secret deals? No, I'm not saying secret deals. I'm just saying, you know, somebody has to take a decision and we move on. We don't have to discuss everything uh, to, the, to, to the total end. And of course, we need transparency. We need to document these things um, similar as we have like minutes for all kind of meetings and people can look up what happened. But trying to discuss every tiny little discussion with the whole community can just like end in, in chaos. OK, but so, I, so I, I don't think uh, anybody Miria, proposed, nobody proposed to do that, right? There's a work plan which has things in it that are not things that came from the RSWG. There's, I mean, people can discuss that, but it just appears in a work plan. It's not in some approval cycle. Yeah, but I think the area you're also talking the about process the is that you have the work plan to send it out to the community in order to get feedback about the work plan, right? And maybe it's me who's still not understanding what kind of level of detail we want to put in the work plan. But as long as I don't have an understanding what this work plan actually is, I'm worried about putting specifying it in the RC. Sure, if I may, Miria, is you're concerned about the work plan going too detailed. Um, and um, I'd say I'd suggest a little operational practice will get us over that hump. But um, Martin. expectations about how this process is going to work uh, is probably the, the sensible way out of this. Like, as you say, Elliot, the, there are probably some operational practices that, that things will fall into that will ensure that this will uh, work smoothly. I can't imagine people nitpicking things. But in the past, the RPC has made public its, 
its plans on various things. I know that we um, publicly talked about the Auth48 Git, GitHub thing that the JTalk mentioned. Um, and that's fine. I don't think uh, it, it needs to be a, a whole big event. Um, but if we perhaps if again we set expectations in the document that will that will do the job. It, it, it seems to me that n there's no text and no suggestion that the that either the RSWG or the RSAV approves the work plan. We just get it. And note that it includes the items we want. It might have things that we don't care about, but there's no approval. There's no, there's no official discussion of the work plan. There's just notice of the work plan. I don't think we have any more than that. Can I speak? Yeah, please. Has that been the cue? Um, so that's not what I early understood, right? Um, because there was the idea about getting feedback about the work plan. Um, and I'm also, I'm not suggesting to like hiding, doing something uh, and hiding that, right? It, it's, it's very good to be open about everything the RPC is doing. It's just like, who decides about what the RPC is doing? That's the question and I don't want to have like the whole community deciding about everything. And they brought up the example of um, the editor process, right? We changed the editor process slightly so that the RPC is now um, processing editorial editors directly instead of the 80s doing it. So that's really something between the workflow between the 80s and the RPC. And it's, you know, if somebody's interested, it's documented in various minutes, I guess, but it's like not super exciting for the community as a whole and involving more people than those which are actually affected directly is probably not helpful. Okay. Um, we might want to let Peter and Jay do what they said they would do on the last couple ones, which is edit the text that exists and then see whether it, it does what we want. Uh, because I think we're multiple people are reading different things into what's already there and the email discussion. Jay? Definitely, thanks. Um, I, I think my my main problem is really I don't understand what people think what this work plan is. So that's the problem here. Jay, go ahead. Um, ages ago, I actually proposed that the RSAB sign off the work program. And there's a formal approval step for it going to the RSAB. And there was significant pushback against the RSAB having that kind of authority because they might attempt to take over the world, I believe, is the, the concern. And so that's why there isn't that level of um, approval in there anymore, because we had a discussion and there seemed to be no other place that that level of approval could go to. Um, and I also raised the concern that that meant that there is, to a degree, a de facto approval step of the LLC because it approves the resources within it and things and improves, you know, have people followed the process correctly, right? So that's why we're at the position we're at, which to me is slightly suboptimal. I would have preferred the RSAB to do it, but it, it works nonetheless. Um, and secondly, to Miria's point, the reason that we have to put something like the errata changes into a work plan, into a single document, is so that people are aware that this is the full set of changes to the steady state machine that the RPC will be making. And this is how they are prioritized against each other. This is the resources that are required and therefore this is the total set of resources. Asking people to go to read minutes here or bits there or do that sort of stuff to me is unreasonable. You know, we need that level of transparency for what is a very expensive, very important part of the organization. Yeah, Miria. Yeah questions about both of the points you made. So one is the part about approval. Uh, it's not fully clear to me like what the full purpose about this work plan is if there's no chance to influence a work plan from anybody in the community, right? So if, if the community has, has an idea, idea about what should happen next and then the RPC comes up with a totally different work plan, what happens in that situation? Jay, do you want to respond? I mean, most of us can. Go ahead. Yeah, it, it goes to the community feedback process. Um, and if people disagree with that um, and the RPC sticks to its guns and it's escalated to the LLC, we've specifically ruled out any other mechanism for that to be addressed. 
Ja. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm still questioning the point if, you know, if you need to have this kind of plan or if it's rather something on a case by case basis. But anyway, I wait for your text. So my, my second question is then about this example again, right? Because this area type processing was something that was discussed in the ISG and then like um, implemented by the RPC on a basically quite short notice, like it, within a few weeks. So it's not something that would go from my point of view in a yearly work plan. Well, that the the work plan is co probably continuously modified based on its it, it 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 its inputs. It's how often you report it. That's I think at issue regularly is the issue. So I'm I'm I know I'm repeating myself, but I make I make my point once again. I think with all these questions about how I don't understand how this work plan works, I think we should not specify it on this level of detail in the RC. It's fine if we do all that, right? Um, but if I don't understand what it means and we write it down, then I think we have a problem. Um, again, I'm going to suggest that we let Peter and Jay work out the, the changes to the text that was proposed and see whether that addresses the issues. They've heard this discussion um, and I think, you know, less is better for some of the stuff, not tying the RPC's hands or the LLC's hands. Um, but I, I don't think we're getting anywhere in, in informing Peter and Jay what to do. Yeah, with my, with my um, editor hat on, I think that, first of all, this has been a good discussion. I think we have a sense of what needs to get clarified, or I do. Um, just to put a finer point on it with Miria, there are things that are currently specified that the RFC was doing under the second version of the RFC editor model that would fall through the cracks if we didn't say something along these lines. I think we should keep it high level and not go into too much detail, but taking Martin's feedback into account, I don't think we can be so high level that we just say there's a report once in a while. I think it's got to have a little bit better defined process so that folks have a comfort level that things will be um, addressed in in a transparent way that is understandable as opposed to just leaving all those details undefined. Yep. So, so, um, oops, sorry. Uh, you know, let's, let's, we'll try to work this into the text, the next version of the document, which hopefully we'll have out in a week or two, uh, you know, we'll have better definition around this and then we can talk about this on list or at the next interim call. Yeah. Does anyone have any 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 problems with doing that? Okay. Um, this also is a is the break time. We're coming up on the break. Um, that's good because we're going to go into another item. The next item to discuss is RCA higher fire management. Um, so we'll pick that up after the break. Um, any anything before we get take take the break? Okay. Thank you. We'll see you in a in a bit.
For those uh, listening, um, note that we have to change rooms. Uh, there's a new uh, Meet Echo room, so uh, you should cl uh, close out from this room and go to the next one.